Hey guys, it's Mr. Penguin Panda, and in this video I'm going to show you where you can find items like the Hot Java Ring or the Dwarven Weapons in the new Volcano Dungeon. I will also explain what the Hot Java Ring does and how you can increase your chances of finding treasure chests, which I figured out by looking into the game's code. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I still have a lot of Stardew Valley content coming up, so feel free to hit the subscribe button and activate notifications. The Hot Java Ring is a new ring introduced in the Stardew Valley 1.5 update, and it has a pretty cool effect. If you have it equipped, you have a 25% chance to get coffee if you kill any kind of monster. If this fails, you have a 10% chance to get a triple shot espresso instead, which amounts to an overall 7.5% chance to get triple shot espresso. What you might not know is that the Hot Java Ring actually stacks, so you can roll twice to get coffee or espresso and also get two pieces at once. This can lead you to the probabilities I will show on screen. But you can also just say that on average you can expect to get around 50% of a coffee and 15% of a triple shot espresso for every monster you slay. So one cool thing you could do is breeding slimes and killing them for easy coffee. Or you could look for infested floors in the mines, especially with dust sprites and the new spiders. Or you can just do normal skull cavern runs and farm some coffee that way. Additionally, you can always use the new monster musk to double the amount of monsters that spawn. By the way, if you're wondering, no, they don't work with the burglar's ring. But where can you actually get the hot java ring? The hot java ring can be found in volcano dungeon treasure chests. And I'm going to explain where you can find those chests. And just as a side note, the volcano dungeon only resets at the start of the next day. So compared to the mines, you cannot reset it just by leaving. The way Volcano Dungeon levels are generated is that level 0 is always the entrance, level 5 is always the dwarf shop and level 9 is always a square shaped level that leads to the forge. And all the other levels are randomly chosen from a set of layouts. By looking at some of the game files you can see all the different 38 layouts that exist, with the first one being the entrance and number 32 being the dwarf shop. The ones after that are special areas like the mushroom rooms and the monster rooms. And on all the layouts, the blue areas are supposed to be the lava, while the white areas are normal ground tiles. And how all the varying levels are created is by using so-called set pieces of different sizes. In all the different layouts, set pieces of the same size as the yellow rectangles are randomly chosen and placed there. And if you have done the volcano dungeon several times already, you might even recognize many of them. All the 6 32 times 32 size set pieces can only appear in the rectangular layout which is always on level 9 and always contains one treasure chest. And of all the 16 times 16 size set pieces, only 3 have a treasure chest so we can narrow down the only places and layouts they can appear in. This means that only 12 of the 35 remaining layouts can contain treasure chests. And of the 6 special layouts, at most one can appear in a given day, which is affected by luck. And what you might not have noticed yet is that there are actually two different types of chests. Common chests and rare chests. They both have slightly different appearances and loot tables. And the hot java ring in particular can only be gotten in rare chests. Interesting to note is that golden coconuts in both chest types can only be gotten if you have already cracked at least one at the blacksmith. So if you just started your journey on Ginger Island, you might want to wait a little bit before cracking them open so you can increase your chances of getting one of the other items, like the ring or some of the exclusive weapons. But what are the chances of finding treasure chests and how can you increase them? With the information from before, we now know that level 9 always has one treasure chest and that only 12 of the other layouts can even have treasure chests at all. So you now know where to look for them. And additionally, floor 9 also has a 50% chance instead of the normal 10% chance of having a rare chest instead of a common one. However, just like with many other things in Stardew Valley, getting a rare chest is once again affected by daily luck and player luck. I've explained this in several other videos, but I'll explain it once again. Daily luck is a random number between minus 10 and plus 10% and gets increased by 2.5% if you have the special charm. 
However, player luck is a different stat and can only be increased by food and drink buffs which you can stack and also by wearing up to 2 lucky rings. If you still need to find some lucky rings then check out my other video where I show you where you can get it. Now let's look at the probabilities without any luck. Each percent of daily luck increases your chances of getting a rare chest by 0.5%. With player luck, it's a little bit higher with each point giving you an additional 3.5%. So in the very best conditions, with a maximum of plus 9 player luck and plus 12.5 daily luck, you can have a close to 48% chance of getting a rare chest instead of a normal chest. And an almost 88% chance on floor 9. And if the chest is not a rare chest, then it's just a common chest. So in a kind of backwards way you might actually want to have lower luck if you just want to find common chests if you're still looking for the dwarven weapons for example. Just remember that this is only about the chances of a rare chest replacing a common chest and outside of level 9 treasure chests are not guaranteed to appear. And that's all I have to say about the hot java ring and the volcano dungeon. If you think my video was helpful feel free to give it a like. But otherwise, have a nice day and see you in my next video.